Hi everybody, welcome to this Pi Hamilton tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the basics of how to write your first script in Pi Hamilton. To start, let's import the functions and classes we need from the Pi Hamilton library. We'll go over what each of these functions does as we use them in the script. Next, we have to define our default liquid class for the script. This will be a string that references a liquid class in the liquid class database. If you're used to programming in Venus, then you probably already know how liquid classes work. Next, let's instantiate the layout manager class with a reference to the deck.lay layout file. This layout manager class will keep track of which deck resources we've instantiated. Now let's instantiate a few deck resources as variables in the Python environment. Uh, we'll use the resource list with prefix function to do that, which lets us declare a list of deck resources based on a common prefix, uh, followed by some incrementing integer. The return value of this function will be a list, and each element of the list will be a deck resource uh, value. Yeah. Now let's declare a pair of aspiration and dispense lists. These work similarly to sequences from Venus, but instead of declaring references to static objects in a lay file, we declare these on the fly, usually using a list comprehension, because list comprehensions are very convenient ways of specifying liquid handling patterns. In this case, we'll be aspirating from the first column of a plate and then dispensing to the second column of the plate. You can see that it's a list of tuples where the first element of each tuple is the plate being referenced and the second element is the index of the well. Now we have to specify a volume list and in this case each channel will be aspirating a volume of 100 microliters. Uh, the volume list will be a list of length 8 where each element of the list specifies the volume being aspirated by each channel. Now that we've defined all the variables we need, it's time to look at the actual code that will be sending commands to the robot. Uh, this will be done in the, a context manager that declares the Hamilton interface. And we'll be running the interface in simulation mode. Uh, the first command passed to the interface will be the normal login command, and this will set up a text file that uh, receives all of the logged output from Venus. Next, we have to initialize the robot within the context of the simulator. Uh, in, if you're running this not in simulation, then it's a normal initialization. Next, we're picking up the tips that we've specified in the tips positions variable, uh, very simple. And then we are aspirating from the aspiration positions with the volumes that we've specified here and the liquid class that we just specified up here, and then we're dispensing with those same volumes and same liquid class uh, with the dispense positions. So that will be in the second column of the plate. Finally, we're done with the script. We can eject tips back into the tip positions that we pick them up from, uh, so you'll notice it's the same tips positions. That's all there is to writing your first by Hamilton script. Now it's time to run the method we've just written. To do that, you just need to open the command line and run pi robot method dot pi or whatever you name the script on your script, and you will see the simulation window open. Uh, you now can run the simulator with the green arrow just like you would any other method and watch your script execute. So there we've seen it picks up tips, aspirates from the first column, dispenses to the second column, places tips back in the first column of the tip box where we got them.